In 2006, snack food giant Frito-Lay decided that Doritos, their flavored tortilla chip, needed a new look. To boost sales, Frito-Lay embarked on a comprehensive makeover of the Doritos brand. They began the rebranding effort with research into how the brand was currently perceived. They then had to decide what assets of the brand to keep and what to update. The very first thing that we learned when it comes to Doritos as a snack, it's the one that's bold. It's the one that's really intense. And what really made it just from a visual perspective that you really understood that it was Doritos, it was that iconic triangle. It's that perfect triangle that you look for every time you open a bag, that perfect one that goes into your mouth. That's something we truly owned as well. But more than anything else, you also eat with your nose. And when you open that first bag of Doritos and that whiff of that fabulous Doritos flavor, the cheesy flavor that comes through, that was also another asset that we understood to really own for the brand. Although their market was made up of a variety of ages, Doritos chose to target young adults with their new brand. And what we did was we looked at our consumption data and we tried to see who really over-indexed when it came to consuming Doritos. And what we found them to be was young adults, 16 to 24 years of age, probably the bullseye being 19. Why did we pick 19? Because when you're maybe 14, 15 years old, you aspire to be 19. And when you're 30 years old, you aspire to be 19. After the market research phase was complete, Frito-Lay could work on revamping the brand. First, they needed to understand today's youth market. When you think about a brand, you need to fit into your consumer's life and into their world. So the next thing that we did was we took this target age group and we said, how are they living today? And if you look at how they're living today, it's in a world of what we call hyperstimulation. They live in a world of video games, they live in a world of technology, they live in a world of phones and IMing each other and texting each other. This is an age where you really use technology as a way to express yourself, and that expression leads to hyperstimulation. And we knew we needed to fit into that world. So the first thing that we did was we wanted to make sure that our branding and our packaging was very bold. Doritos simplified the colors on its packaging with a single bold color for each flavor. They also developed a new logo called the Sound Chip. The Sound Chip represents both the triangular shape of the chip and the sound of the crunch it makes when you eat it. But more importantly, that eating experience needed to be bold. We went across all the various flavors within our line and we made sure that every flavor gave every consumer that bold intensity that they were looking for. So then we went to the next level. We said, okay, why should you just have one taste experience? What if we combine two interesting flavors and collide them together and was born our Collisions flavors? Another element of the rebrand for Doritos was changing the way they engaged their customers. They wanted their customers to participate in the brand in a meaningful and authentic way. Understanding our consumer was also understanding that what we needed to do with them was to be authentic. And for that, that means not just consuming our brand, but actually having a voice in the brand that they love. So we asked ourselves, should it be the brand team who decides what the next flavor should be? Or should it be the people who truly love the brand? And was born from that idea, fight for the flavor. Where we said, we'll put two flavors out there. You decide who wins and you decide who loses. And the one that wins is the one we'll launch. It was really surprising that as we looked into the blog space, there was a lot of skepticism. Ah, another promotion by another big brand. They're really not going to pull one out of the market. We wanted to make sure that consumers understand we meant what we said. When we heard consumers tell us that Smoke and Cheddar Barbecue was their winner, we immediately kept that on the market and immediately discontinued Wild White Nacho. Because again, we wanted the consumers to know they were in charge. Rebranding has been a great success for Doritos. The brand has seen double-digit growth since 2006, but more importantly, the brand has increased its base of, and interaction with, loyal fans. The biggest surprise for me on Doritos, and in hindsight it shouldn't have been a surprise, but what's amazing to me is how much consumers are passionate about their brand. So passionate that they truly are stewards of our brand. When they think about how this brand, what it means to them, they are probably more passionate about defending it directing it and creating absolute magic with it. So at the end of the day, you gotta trust your consumer.